and the way the candle cast a shadow. Ravinokos. You see, before you judge David, make sure you, you can survive what he survived. And then I said hello and greeted her and was about to take my leave. And she said, what are you doing there now? Come. And you see, I lie not to you. Tea today. If you ask me how I left that table and got to that bed, I don't know how. And I'm not exaggerating. God is my witness. I just know that I was once here <laughs> and I found myself there. But that's not the whole story. At this time, I was already leading morning devotions in that hostel. Yes. 5, 6 a.m. I'm the one on the field. Crowds gather. They knew me as a man of God. In, it was during when I lead morning devotions that they knew that people could cry in morning devotions. I taught morning devotions and cultists. I was a cultist myself before I got saved, before I rededicated my life. I saw confra people come and meet me in the room and say, Kai, what you said today? I was already leading morning devotions with power, with grace, without microphone. Early hours of the morning, everybody that was on my block would hear my tongues rattle. I must do it two hours before I step out. It was the same me as we were doing royal rumble on the bed, getting ready to do the, the devil's work. I was the one that said, I whispered to her, they will catch us. They will catch us. Uncle, if they are going to catch us, is it not to get up and lock the door? Because by the time I walked in and got to her, the door, it was just the curtain. So the reasonable thing would have been, let us lock the door. But you know what I said? Let's go outside. They will catch us. Let's go outside. So we came out and went behind the hostel. And like a dog, I had sex with her. Not knowing that the neighbor opposite watched the whole movie from beginning to end. From beginning to end. This is the story. The next morning, I got up as usual. And then I wanted to ascend. I lay on my bed and I sought for the one whom my heart loves. And I found him not. I tried. Cool. Cool. Normally, this is the way God designed my work with him. If I start praying here, I can shut you out for four hours. And it will come like oil. My transitions are smooth. They are quick. Except there's something troubling me. Smooth, quick. I tried. I tried. I couldn't break through. Then the brother from the other room just came. Opened the curtain and said, Kai! Pastor, you're too much. God. Tears fell from my eyes. So I understand how the Shulamite was feeling. Love is not profession. Love is living. If your life does not match what you claim comes from your heart, your life is a lie. And you see, I find out, especially amongst young people, our living is a lie. We claim to love the bridegroom, but it is not him we love. We love his activities. We're in love in singing songs of ascension, but we don't love him. His presence has not become valuable to us to the point where 
Anything that fights our intimacy with God, we now treat as an enemy. 